See, removing the oil dipstick. Removing the top nut that's on the manifold stud. So I can pull the dipstick out to avoid damaging it when I pull the manifold out. Yeah, try doing that to a 3.1. That don't come out. <laughs> it does not come out. So if your studs in good shape, you don't gotta buy any studs. Yeah, I mean, people recommend it, but I choose to. not to. Okay, yeah, it's pretty, <clears throat> pretty good looking. So they're saying remove the master cylinder? Yeah. Oh, this is easy to remove though on this one. You got the flex line. So you just pull all the way if you need be. Mm -hmm. It's not even a big deal. So. Take off the throttle body, get out of the way. All right, so you're undoing your, uh, your motor mounts, your upper motor mounts. Burns, yeah. All right, so before you do that, we gotta, we gotta properly chuck the car because it's on ramps. So we got our <clears throat> our certified wheel chucker here. Just kick that in there like that. And these are shorter, shorter dog bends, so it's a little harder. What are you out of? Out of a Pontiac Montana Chevy Venture. Ah, okay. I should probably get this for the CDP then. Uh, I already got shorties in there now. Uh, there Alright. Let's see. It didn't move. And while we're making room, let's go ahead and, uh, <coughs> and remove the, uh, make some more room. Remove the throttle body? And remove the throttle body. Make sure you unplug the mask. Idle air control valve, throttle position sensor, cruise control, some clips, then your throttle, wrap it around. Get those out of the way. Typically, you want them to remove your intake. But because it's such a pain in the ass to put that intake on, and you have three 10 millimeter bolts. One up top, one down in the corner. Right under the throttle position sensor. Yeah. Then the other one is under the actual throttle spring. Same setup whether it's a supercharged or a natural aspirated. It's the same throttle body, pretty much, right? Yeah, different size and diameter, but same setup. Start it off nice and neat. Lucky for me, my gas is still there. Nice. So you get the last nut there, then you have, are these already cracked loose on the front? Yeah, they're already. Crossover bolts are already removed. Typically you want to. Are these factory headers? Yeah. Factory manifold and crossover. Everything put the down plate. Slides off then. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Garbage. Yeah, it's a like cast iron bullshit. Twenty pounds right there. <laughs> so you have the uh, the stock versus the aftermarket, as you can see. You got your <clears throat> your cast, and you got your stainless here. Nice smooth runners with nice curved bends for the optimized power and got a smooth flange there to bolt into the other side to the aftermarket crosshair pipe uh, so right now we're taking off the, uh, the shield there 
Yeah, we can a cross over in the rear manifold. You definitely want to lube these bolts up before you try to start attacking them. Especially if you're completely stock and never working in a car at all. That's something you will break. And especially if you need to put it back on, which in my case I don't. Or you'll be doing this just to break them loose. Alright, so with the shield exposed, you got two more nuts there, and then the uh, crossover pipe will be free. Alright, so you yeah. properly remove the uh, nuts there. And yeah, you want to lube them up, or else you'll uh, snap them, which in my case it doesn't matter. It's a donut. Things seem better days. There's your EGR valve port pop, uh, cap off. Just transfer that to your new headers if you yeah. cap yours off so you don't have no weird popping sound when you're driving. Alright, so if you have a shorter doll bone, it'll make it easier to remove the manifold. But if you got some stock doll bones, your engine's only going to sit like right there. Not even, right, right there. That's not enough room. So, because I'm special, and I need strength. Give me that. Sure, doll bends. Y'all have all that space. Find a room to play back there. Now, if you want to have a lot more room, feel free to remove anything that you feel is in your way. In my case, I have nothing besides some spark plug wires and an oxygen sensor, which I'm not going to use anyway at this moment. Um, then, as you can see, my rear manifold has this. This is equipped with California emissions. Beautiful. It's a pain in the ass. This is blocked off. I deleted all the California emissions. But these tubes fill up with carb. If California emissions is not equipped. However, that manifold is going to go and the new headers will not have none of that. So you crack loose the, uh, the rear manifold down pipe. Yeah. Crank that bitch loose. Oh, oh, that, oh, uh, okay. Down plate to the rear resonator. And you're keeping the resonator on here? Yeah. He charged me $50 to put this on, weld it on, clamp it on. <laughs> Not bad. Give me bolts. Right, so now you just loosen the back uh, exhaust manifold, remove those. Yeah. Get that out of the way. I'll tell you, this California emissions crap, I hate it to my way. Remove the bolt, remove it. Get yourself some room. Get the dipstick out of the way. Of course, if you don't have California emissions, it'd be a lot easier to get the rear manifold out. Just keep sliding over here. Alright, so there's your, let me see this, that's your block, 
So you can move your EGR valve if you don't need that, you don't need that shit. No more California emissions, no more EGR valve. Now we got the new new cap on the uh, the old cap of the new headers. Now you gotta put the the O2 sensor in here and make an ex an uh, extension for it. Yeah. Alright, so next up here is to put the gasket on there on the back of the head. And then you line up your exhaust manifold. It's best to have two people doing this so one can hold it, one can put the nut on. Just kinda get it started to hold it in place. Right. So we got everything tightened up so far. Now we're just tightening up this uh, clamp back here. Also, it meets the rear header. And there's there's enough clearance wow. between the fan and the uh, exhaust manifold, the new headers. Just enough. There's the first drive without the car being tuned for the new headers and stuff yet. Jeez, coming out of an angle. <laughs> 